where I grew up in Manchester. If you heard a gunshot, you found the police. Today's route is a four mile circular walk round the village of Stow Upland in Suffolk. Walks and wonders. Now there's a bit with that bloke walking up the field. Walking on, he's the walking man. Good to have you with me on this walk today. Don't really know where I'm going, but then who of us does? So she probably saw we came down from the co op petrol station towards the centre of Stoutland, and we got to the United Reform Chapel. We crossed the road and went down a little track opposite there and we're just going to follow it down here a bit. After those summer temperatures walking around Dagworth last week it's really really dropped, it's gone cold. We're back to winter temperatures now, I don't know what it is but I don't know where the cold draft is coming from but I certainly know where it's going. When you come down this track which obviously cars drive down it eventually bends sharply to the left. We're not going that way. We're going to go down the footpath which carries straight on. We just turned left at the footpath sign and thankfully the footpath is very clear across this field, just straight across. As you saw back there we just kind of headed slightly to the right of this ditch and um, as well signposted there we just carry on down here a track down to this farm just join on to that and head straight on keep hearing gunshots on this walk and where I grew up in Manchester if you heard a gunshot you found the police 
But here apparently you don't phone the police, you just think that farmer needs a better scarecrow. It does make this city boy jump now every time someone lets off a shotgun. So we just turned left there onto Creeting Road. Let's get out of the way of this car. And you basically just follow this road to the end. So just turn right out of Creeting Road, kind of walking out of Stoutland and in a moment we're going to take the next left I think. On this walk we're kind of skirting the village of Stoupland. We'll come to the middle of it in the green towards the end. In Saxon times it was called Altoona. This was due to the large number of owls in a woodland in the middle of the village that used to stand where Holy Trinity Church now stands. All being the Saxon word for owl, it's not far off, owl all. I'm not sure what the Saxon meaning of tuna was, but I'm fairly sure it wasn't tinfish. not all right just to chuck your McDonald's litter into the countryside. You're going to have food in disposable containers and dispose of the containers properly. You don't just chuck them out the car window into the countryside for someone else to pick up. Here endeth the rant but I'm going to talk more about disposable stuff that causes pollution in a future video. Just past Nutshell's tea room back there, which I can recommend. Don't know, it's changed hands since I last went, which is way before lockdown happened. I think they're doing takeaway at the moment, but I do have memories of a rather nice bacon bap in there. But it's great if you're on this walk, especially in the winter and they're open, you can go in and have a nice hot chocolate, or whatever you want, a bit of hot food. And when you come to the end of this little track here, you can see a footpath sign to the left, which uh, I'm not going to go down there. But there is a whole series of little footpaths that goes to different parts of the village. I'm going to stay on this road, which takes us to Thorny Green in the centre of the village. Just bearing slightly right here, 
and Columbine Cliffs. This apparently is the start of the footpath that goes down to Columbine Hall, which I am going to do in a future video. I think I mentioned that footpath in the Dagworth Walk last week when I was down at the other end of it, or at least down on the road that it goes to Stonebridge Lane. And you just follow Columbine Cliffs straight ahead till you come to Thorny Green. Come to the entrance of Green Farm. You can just carry on, walk across the rest of Thorny Green. That goes out towards Stone Market, obviously, if you're local. I'm going to go down this track here and go across the other green to where near where I started. Nice little village. I think it's still got its own independent butcher shop and a couple of things like that. All very nice. There's a bit of building on the outskirts as we've seen today. But generally, because it's based around these several big greens, it, uh, it really keeps the village feel. Fun memories of doing the school run up here. As both our daughters went to Startland High School. And as school run parents, we tend to part with a couple of wheels on the green or this side of the road. But I noticed they put these uh, wooden bollards in. And then there's a and there's a sign. There's a sign over there saying no stopping or turning. And I did just notice this house here, which I have in my mind was at one time like the firehouse, the fire station. I'm going to look to see if I can find out whether that was the fire station or well, I've just imagined that because it's painted red. Don't know. We're more or less back where we started at the co-op garage. If you enjoyed today's video and you hit that red subscribe button and click the little bell icon I can guarantee that the Archangel Muriel will come to your home in the night and give you a blessing beyond your imaginations. So thanks for walking with me today and let's walk together soon. Mm -hmm.